share our lives as an interabled couple but tonight we are giving you our married at first sight season 11 episode 14 14 review so this episode starts off with um is this the episode the uh part of the quarantine has changed where they can actually visit, 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 the, visit the each other or the stay at home order yes like so they can go and hang out with each other and i believe we start off with um, Amani helping. What's her name? Olivia. Olivia. Hey. And not really sure why that clip was even there, but the funny part is, well, it's not really funny because it's kind of rude and sad. He took the um, what was it, scotch? Oh yeah, yeah. He took the and liquor. left the glasses. Like she got him a set, and he took the liquor, left the rest of the gift, and was like, "I have glasses at home." And I just feel like that was such, like, it's kind of funny, but it's definitely douchebaggish. Let's be thankful. That was, um... Uh, yeah. She was like, I think she called him trash. He is. Um, and so, the couples are going to go away to, like, glamping together. And, um, before they go, we see Henry talking to Woody mm -hmm. about everything with him and Christina. So, we'll start off with Henry and Christina. What's that conversation or what he was like? Because he, so he, long story short, he basically tells Woody that, like, it's not working. Um, Christina's a liar. And he caught on to it a long time ago. And he just let it play out. And he knows that, like, he almost made it seem like he, he knows he's not staying with her. But yeah. he's going to finish out his obligation. And so Woody's like, well, how is this going to be on the trip? And he's like, you know... He wants to have a good time. He doesn't want it to be no awkward. No drama. He said he wants no drama. No drama. But she also hasn't been home in days. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, yeah, I don't want any drama. We're just going to go and like still have a good time. And he's like, I guarantee you she's going to act like nothing is going on. Oh, this is a nice place. Yeah. So nice place. we'll just continue. into yeah. So they get to the place, uh, Henry and Christina, and they're trying to pick out a room. And she... Really was acting like nothing happened. Psychopath. Bro. She's like looking around the room trying to decide which one she wants. This one smells funny to her, so she'll take the other one. And he's just like, Yeah, yep, sure, yep, mm -hmm. whatever. Like, type of attitude. Um, and I almost feel like the rest of the episode is like other people pointing out or us noticing the little jabs he was making at her mm -hmm. with yep. everything. Um, she started crying. Because Olivia and Brett weren't there. And even then he like. The camera made sure they caught his response. Or they edited it so well. That it looks like he responds so to Henry. everything she did and said. She's all like literally tears in her eyes that they're not there. I'm saying she's not. She's yeah. And he's, she's like I'm us. just. I'm just saying. And he was totally like. That went to work in the over there. <laughs> Um, you don't, you know, clearly you don't really see them click. You really do see her pretending as if nothing's happening. They go to play a game, all of the couples together, and surprisingly they score well. And he's like, the first point they get, he's like, well, that's one more point than I thought we were going to get tonight. I missed that part. <laughs> that's savage. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're definitely, I think he's probably going to find a polite way to tell her that it's not. That, oh, that, like his answer is definitely going to be no. Day, he gonna yeah. just let it fly. He um, let that whole chop of rain on her. Um. Yeah. So we do find out in this episode that the timeline of the show basically doubled mm -hmm. um, because of the quarantine and the stay at home order. That now they're twice as long into this experiment than was anticipated. Yeah. Um. So we'll do Bennett and Amelia next. Uh, 
they go uh they go on a trip. They're excited to get away. Um, Did they get there first? No, that was Christina and Henry. That's why she looked at all the rooms. Oh, okay. See? I don't remember. Um don't remember much about them. Wait, the one thing I do remember that's hilarious and that I t- I told you, Marcus noticed too. So yeah, no, no, but you gotta tell about what they eat and like they they made so they made together. like a, a family style like everybody chipped in and made cooked in some sort of way yeah. and they had this dinner. I honestly don't even remember exactly what it was, but it wasn't like finger food. No, it was real food. Like I mean, like you needed a utensil. Oh yeah, what I'm get- like you needed a utensil to sit down because there was a variety of things to like pick from. And as they're just like sitting at dinner, having this casual conversation, catching up with everybody to see how everybody's been. Bennett stabs his food and proceeds to eat with a whisk. <laughs> and I think you caught it. And said something. And I, was I was like, mad. I was like, bro, got a whisk? Like, what you doing, G? Nobody said nothing about this. Like, I would have loved to hear Imani's, like, anything. Response to that? Just, just give me a clip she of what she was like, at. Oh, oh hell okay. no! Like, no, I can't imagine her like person. Like she probably was like, okay, like he's crazy. Like I can see her saying that. Only bet it. Only bet it. Funniest thing, and he picked the right size whisk. Like it wasn't too big. It wasn't too small. It held the and chicken. It's too big for. It held dinner. the chicken that he got into his mouth. I ain't mad at them, but it was hilarious. I'm trying to think what happened on their little... Um, the other thing that happened with them was they had the activity to, like, write a letter to their nine-year-old self. Oh, yeah. And Amelia writes this beautiful, heartfelt letter to her nine-year-old self, and it's about love and be being prepared for and believing in, like, the unbelievable, because yeah. here it is. She met, like, this perfect guy on a reality TV show. And um, he goes to read his letter, and he basically says that Pokemon card that you had for all of those years, you should have never opened because it would have been worth twenty thousand dollars. And you hear that? You hear Meredith for like favorite noise, and like you see her face be like, like as he's reading the letter, she goes from her normal smile to like it just gets shorter and shorter to like. This is the first time we've seen her, like, so disappointed. So, you're not going to say anything about me in your letter? Like... <laughs> That'd be funny. I almost feel like he did something else that was kind of like... She wasn't feeling him like a smidge. Like, she wasn't her usual trip herself, but I can't yeah. remember what it was. was in this episode? I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, but we do find out that they already went to uh, Virginia. Virginia. And yeah, they kind of, I guess, scoped it out and getting themselves ready for their transition. Um, but yeah, I don't think it really I don't was. think it was too much. Oh, he did they tell everybody at dinner that they had sex. And apparently, I missed this, but apparently, people said it was like an awkward, like, he just was like, it was almost like a kid running up to be like, oh my god, I got a secret to tell you before anybody else say anything, do anything else. Like, we had sex. Like, people were just like, okay. And then, like, kept the conversation kind of going. It didn't really, like, flow. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah. What was I Sorry. Sorry. Uh, they hosted the game at the That's end. That's what I think, yeah. I was going to say that. He was hosting the game. It was pretty funny. They asked the weirdest of questions for the game. They did. Weird questions. Do you, like, fold or crumple your toilet paper? Oh, yeah. Um... What was another one they asked that was really weird? It's been a million There's yeah. no limit. To um, kind of but yeah, I'm hoping that I actually like I this was like a normal episode for them. I feel like everything seemed like this was like the first time you noticed her not be like super ecstatic about him. But I feel like after 16 weeks, it sounds about right. Yeah. Um, but they do show in a preview that it looks like. Well, never mind. I won't say because you didn't watch it. Never um, watch the previews. Don't spoil it. Yeah. Kind of like, I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. It's the only show I watch in real time without binging. And that's part of why no it takes previews. us a long time to get these reviews up. Because, the, again, we probably said this before. The episodes are so long. And by the time we, like, finish it, it's already bedtime. My work schedule. And before you know it, it's bedtime again. Like, it just, it takes us forever to, like, actually. It's hard to, like. In our game up we so are. Long. It's hard. But it's hard to, like, I wish we could watch it and then review it right afterwards. Yeah, but that's. That's forever. That'd be that's good. impossible, I feel like. Well, not impossible. It's just really hard to do. 
Um, what about Tyler? Yeah. Uh, next. Um, four couples that we can bang. Amani and Woody. I almost wonder if she went back and told him anything that uh, Olivia Olivia said. Like, I wonder if that was like the conversation the of the night. That you night. think I'm gonna say you think she didn't? <laughs> Woody got the tea. But wait, yeah, because Woody was also the one talking to Henry. They probably was like, "Boy, girl." Yeah. <laughs> um, but as far as the relationship, they seem they do seem like the more seasoned couple yeah. out of the group because they're really the only ones that seem well. No, Ben and Amelia seem pretty like definite. Um, but I feel like they come across. Woody, yeah. As there's, it's still surprising that they are still going strong, Woody. This long, and for and I have to apologize. I definitely thought that as the season went on, and they were going to deal with COVID, that we were going to see the real side of him, and that something was going to happen. It was going to fall apart. And no, it is holding true that he Woody is shocking the world. Shit. Go ahead. Yeah, and I, I for one, feel like I should apologize that we probably made terrible assumptions about I was, you. Who I do we think we just, are? I was, I think it was. I felt like they had a good chemistry. I just thought I figured her trust issues, and it still seems like she is very. She has, a, she has a wall up. You know, a lot of walls up, but she has a wall up. Yeah. So I just always fear, fear for him that he gonna do something stupid, or one of the times he says thing in that wrong tone. But I feel Picks like he hasn't. He really is patient with him. Yeah, but I also feel like he hasn't been that level of like off the wall that I think I initially thought that he would be. Like he yeah. seems way more level headed than I anticipated. Like I thought that he would be the type that would be like really immature in his response. That it would be this big huge argument because he doesn't take the time to listen or care about how the other person might feel. Which again, I apologize. Who the heck do we think we are to just judge a person based off of a clip we see on a reality show? But that's why we're here because we watch the show and we think it's fun to review it. Anyway, I feel like he definitely seems way more mature. And a lot of the hard conversations they had, he's responded in a way that was definitely yeah. like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. And I wonder if anybody felt like this the week eight to sixteen, if they weren't on camera anymore because I wonder like if she's waiting for the cameras to stop rolling to and see how he is before she really let that last wall down because it is kind of hard to trust when you know that you you feel like how did we all get on this show to begin with you know what I mean like what made you end up applying to be on the reality tv show yeah or a dating show like I feel like you do have to kind of wonder which is interesting because you would think... Why are you looking at me? You have to ruin it? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I was going to say, it's interesting that you would marry a stranger on a show that I think the concept of it being a show would automatically kind of add like a um, like a bit of distrust to begin with. Mm. And now here it is, this complete person that you know absolutely nothing about. You don't even know their name until you physically see them. You're going to marry that person and put that trust into that person. But, like, I, it makes me wonder, like, has has that been something I've been considering all of these seasons and how people present themselves? Mm-hmm. Because it, it seems to make sense for, like, Imani, if that is a thought in her mind, I totally would get it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they're, they be chilling. chilling. Yeah. They be chilling. I will say, there's something that he did this episode that I wasn't, like, super fond of was I feel like when um, Miles, and we'll just go right into Miles and Karen, he kind of opened up about how they, where they are in the, in the marriage and, like, the fact that they haven't had sex yet. And I feel like he was just, like, rubbing it in, like, you ain't getting nothing yet? Like, what? What do you mean you ain't getting... Especially for it to be twice as long as I thought the experiment was going to be. And now here it is. He's still I mean, waiting it out. Hey, I just felt like the way he was rubbing it in was like, all right, like, let it go. Like, the man ain't talking. This is like, dang, listen, that's how they used to talk. Like, listen, that's right. That's how they talk. That's how I talk. So Miles and Karen, you said what? That's how they talk. That's what I thought you said. Like I was like, he ain't gonna get himself caught up in that one. <laughs> um, I still don't know if I think they're gonna make it. I feel like I can see it yeah. going either way. I do feel like he's opening up more about what he needs, wants, and doesn't like. And now I feel like it's um kind of putting him more in the place of, like, this could go either way. Yeah. No, I think he done. Yeah? Yeah. I think he done. I think he might. No, you're right. He might be. I mean, no. We can have our different events. 
No, I was going to say he might be waiting for decision day, but that could be right around. Oh, the corner yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I feel like no, everything I'm saying. Is no, I mean like I decide. Like no, I mean like you are you saying you think that he's done and he knows that on decision day he's saying no. I feel like what I'm saying is he's not going to make his decision until this like oh, the no. night before or decision day because he might want to give her that little bit more of a window of time. No, to, I think to he, see how she feels. He knows now he's done. Because before he would cover for it. like he wouldn't dish the dirt, dish it all like that. Now, what would he? But that's what I'm saying. I feel like he's finally reached that point of which I think is what she wanted was to make sure he was. There wasn't going to be any resentment from him never saying an ex for what he wants. I think that he's probably reached that point of being like, this is something that she needs and something that I deserve is to just really be more honest. Like I ain't feeling that, or she did this, or she did that, and you know that. I feel like he could be waiting to see how that changes her for him to make his decision. Okay. And you disagree. Do you think she's decided? You think she been like she knew when she got that phone when she was on social media that that she wasn't going to say. Uh, no? I think she might be give or take. Uh, I think she might be give or take. I wonder if if he'll go first or she'll go first I know. because I, I wonder if his me. decision will determine her decision. Yeah, that's what I, mean. I do respect um, from season one Monet and Vaughn. Bon. They decided together before they went to decision day. And I wonder how many couples actually do that but have to seem like they didn't for the show. Yeah. Or how many of them really make that decision in that moment. I, it could really depend on the personalities and how comfortable they feel with having a conversation ahead of time. Or if they don't want to like rock the boat. Or maybe they just like, I know what my decision is and it don't really matter what that person's decision is. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they pretty much done. Um, yeah, I think they everybody... were really bothered by everything going on in the world with the systemic racism. Yes, um, so they really yes. technically didn't even want to be here. So right. for them to actually, you know, push through and come um, was good. He actually he opened up at the dinner and was talking about his feelings and how you know being a black man and yeah. you know just the truth that's going on with Black Lives Matter and you know the George yeah. Floyd shooting that. It's crazy out here to be a black man and you actually trying to do something with your life that you could just be struck down at any time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I almost that wonder was what... That key for her. Like, that, that touched... That resonated with her. Right. And I wonder um, what incident, because there's so many, transpired right before this yeah. trip that... you know, And it could just be the fact that it, they're, they're so back-to-back. -back. We're living in one pandemic on top of another day and it's hard to not... Like, some days you just don't have the energy to fight yeah. two pandemics and then have to be in a room full of other Camera people and Caucasian people right and that you just Mexican don't you don't have it in you yeah. um so yeah it was nice that they d made it out because I feel like they kind of made a little bit of progress yeah like, not a lot like literally as Mitch um but yeah it was kind of nice that they were and it seemed like everybody had fun playing the game at the end of at well let's backtrack can we mention how she killed at that game that we have never seen before who Karen when they were outside first of all in the rain Oh, that's the, that's the, that's the I've never that, seen it before. That's the people game. We should get people. it. It looks like it would be fun to do in the backyard. No? Uh, the the people you just said not our people. Um, But she was crushing it. So, no, that's like the game she you play at tailgates. That's like the game, game, uh, kind of game you play at tailgates with a corn husky and all like that. I don't oh. tailgate. Well, I've never... Well, I tailgated that one time with you with the... That was the tailgate. Yeah. That was... That was, you know, it was... It was 80 game. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out why they was playing out in the rain. Switch up the scenery. It ain't probably that many golf spots. It Netflix. was raining. So, yeah. It was a good episode. <laughs> um, everybody seemed to have fun. And I think Decision Day... I think the next episode is going to be oh, leading up to Decision oh, Day. No, yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. it's going to be yeah, Decision Day. Decision I think we day, probably got This is the last. Episodes. This will be the episode where... What do you think? We're probably going to do a do lot of... The next one will probably be really boring because it might be a lot of, like, re recaps of the season. Montages. Yeah. Or, like, done with their friends. And somehow like, Brett and Olivia is going to be in there. Why? Because they probably got to make the official declaration and all of that. Did you guys hook up after you all left the cameras? Doubt it. Not the way he treated her. I doubt it. And they both stubborn. Even if she wanted this, she probably would have been like, nope. So we will see you guys next week yes, for our next review. Um, again, if you're new to this channel and this is the first episode you watch, please go back and watch all of the other reviews. 
Also go and check out our other content about our lives as a interable couple where one of us has a disability and the other one does not. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys next time.